guys, I'm Alok Shanbhag. I'm a data scientist at Fiddler Labs and I'll be speaking about explainable ML monitoring today. So what is explainable ML monitoring and, and why do we need it? And how do we do it? So first let's begin by why do we need it? So deployed AI systems are error prone. So what is a deployed AI system? How does it look like? So in a deployed AI system, you have a model that is deployed on some server. You have data that is obtained and processed in data engineering pipelines to convert it into features that the model finds acceptable. These features are fed into the model. The model makes a prediction and using some additional logic on top of that prediction, a business decision is made. Now, what can go wrong here? Many things. The data distribution can change, which uh, that is something that is commonly referred to as data drift. So the data that you see in production and in real life is very rarely similar to the data that you use for training. There can be biases that can come into your data. Let's say even if that doesn't happen and the data is then processed by your data engineering pipeline, many things can go wrong here as well. In there can be feature processing or data pipeline issues or bugs, some issues with the API that can cause feature values to get contaminated. Now these issues combined, the data drift and data pipeline issues can result into faulty data going into your model or, model or data that the model has never seen. And hence the model's performance can decay, the model can behave in a biased manner and business decisions that are made using these, these predictions of the model can impact, can impact your KPIs and have other biased consequences for your product. And on top of this, the problem with black box AI is the fact that it is a black box and hence it creates confusion and doubt by its very nature. What is explainable AI? For our purposes, we will consider explainable AI to be the ability to explain the decision of a black box AI model in terms of its inputs, explaining the output in terms of its inputs. So as you can see on the slide, you have this framework where data goes into a black box AI, which is which powers an AI product and a decision is made. Now there is there are multiple questions that can be asked here. So what explainable AI does is, as you can see in the bottom half of the slide, it gives you a feedback loop. So instead of a black box AI model, what you have is an explainable AI system, which enables a, a decision that comes with an explanation, which enables you to complete the feedback loop. So now you know that this decision was made. Now you also know why it was made. So at a, at a very simple level, an explainable AI workflow looks like uh, the wheel that is shown here. You should have the ability to monitor an ML model and its, uh, and its data be able to see its predictions, the, the drift of the data that it sees, the outliers. This helps ensure fairness and performance. It should have, this workflow should have the ability for you to set alerts on certain parameters. These alerts help you to keep a constant watch in, in an automated way over the, the performance of your AI system. There should be an ability to debug for you to be able to investigate and analyze model behavior that is out of the ordinary and may require further explanations. This workflow will also require you to be able to get actionable insights to drive improvements. Now let's look at the state of monitoring. With the advent of AI, a new monitoring paradigm has surfaced. What does, what does this line mean? So earlier we had business metrics monitoring. So you had business users and the, we were, they would monitor business metrics, for example, are sales going up or down? What was the traffic yesterday? And what, what was the, 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 total, the total money or income that was generated uh, in, the, in the business over the last one week, one month and so on? What was the churn of customers? Those kinds of business metrics that were being monitored. Then you had engineering and DevOps monitoring where they monitored services and servers. So what this meant was the ability to monitor how well your servers and your entire IT infrastructure is, is behaving. So for example, the latency to the requests that are made, the downtime and so on. 
but with with machine learning there is a new kind of monitoring that is required it needs to be able to track the ml models health and performance you need ml specific metrics so simple metrics earlier such as like count sums averages may not hold here and this can be both real time and lagging you would you will need some metrics which are are real time and will enable you to debug major problems or downtimes immediately and also there's some lagging metrics which help you resolve longer or bigger issues that may require let's say the redeployment or retraining of a model so what does an explainable monitoring solution and and how does it look like so an explainable monitoring solution has to be able to address or detect the the following performance degradation now that is pretty obvious so if your model's performance or its accuracy is going down you should be able to monitor it inadvertent bias so if there is is bias that is unexpected uh it should be able to track that now now what does that mean what is unexpected bias is there a bias that is acceptable sometimes so in the sense that it is it is not a bias that is it's it's a bias that cannot be avoided for example let's say you are it's it's a hiring platform and you are you and uh, let's say the role is software engineering now you will find that as people's age increases their experience will increase and they will receive higher salaries so if you just analyze the data without nuance you may see that okay there is an age bias people with higher ages are getting paid more but that is not that, that is not a bias that is that is preventable or or is the result of discrimination but more as a result of the natural reason being that older people will have more experience than younger people and hence will tend to receive higher compensation data quality issues so all ml models follow the the paradigm of garbage in garbage out so data quality has to be monitored and taken care of it's one of the most important aspects if your data is poor then everything else all bets are off then there are undetected issues like data pipeline issues or other problems with your api design or code there are alternative indicators of performance in the absence of labels which may need to be monitored and also it involves the ability to unlock the black box and understand why the model is making the decision that it's making what are some ai risks so let's start with data drift what is data drift as i mentioned earlier the production data can diverge from training your production data can be significantly different and can cause you to require can require you to retrain your model also the drift of the predicted values can be a good proxy for concept drift and this can be an informative signal for data integrity issues so so concept drift in short what it means is that the relationship between your input data and the output variable has changed fundamentally but for example people who were eligible for a loan today are not eligible for a loan tomorrow for whatever reason like you know the there's there's some issues in the economy or the risk of lending has become higher and the drift of the predicted values can be a good proxy for this for the change in this relationship and we'll come to data and data later but it is related to the the quality of data that goes into your model so data pipeline issues what are the kinds of feature pipeline issues that exist there can be missing values range and type mismatch means you have suddenly ages that are like 300 and type mismatch is meaning you have a categorical variable which is suddenly receiving a float input there can be a schema mismatch where two columns are swapped for example so your income column is feeding into the age column and vice versa and resulting in garbage results so what problems can it cause as is quite obvious it can either degrade your model performance slowly or it can cause even immediate immediate issues like if there is like for example let's say a schema mismatch which results in completely nonsensical values how do they arise your the changes in your business for example newly cataloged products which are not adequately uh represented in the data pipeline uh changes in pricing or there can be it can be as simple as a bug or an api update 
performance decay. Now, your data drift and integrity issues that were mentioned earlier can cause a gradual or even a sudden decline in the model performance. Now, your performance metrics will depend on, the, on your task. So for example, if it's, it's a binary classification model, you may be monitoring your accuracy or your precision or your recall. If it's regression, you may be monitoring uh, your correlation with the expected output or, or mean squared error and so on. Prediction drift can be a good proxy metric for understanding performance decay. So if there is significant prediction drift, you can be, you, there, there is a high likelihood of there being a performance decay as well. So now another AI risk is bias. So what is the problem with bias? So perpetuating bias is, is a growing problem that has been recognized in society as well as in, as in machine learning systems. The, the first sort of technique that is used to avoid bias is to drop protected attributes. But that alone, as we know, is not sufficient. For example, there are other proxy variables that can inform of these protected attributes. So the, a well-known example is zip codes are indicative of race and so on. So you, uh, it, it needs extra vigilance to be aware of these bias issues. So the tracking of this is, is extremely important if you wish to treat, uh, if, if, the, if there is a desire to avoid bias in your model. So how does an AI feedback loop, loop look like? So you have raw data, you, have, you extract features from that, you train a model. Now this explainable AI monitoring box, it gives you, it tells you how good your model is how explainable it is, whether, and it gives you explanations which help you assess the model. And that informs whether the model needs to be retrained or we need different features or whether this model is even suitable to be used for, for the task at hand. You can see the drift of the data that is coming, the, the data integrity issues. And this sort of reinforms your, your, your feedback loop. So what it means is you create a, a model with data then you monitor it based on its performance in the, in the monitoring. You keep retraining it till it achieves a suitable score or performance on an all the metrics of interest. And then comes the, the, the part about having alerts and also the ability to debug. So alerts are, are very important for a monitoring system because it's, it's not feasible for people to, to monitor systems continuously by looking at dashboards throughout the day. Once a problem is, is suspected or known, you need a, a way to be able to drill down deep into that into, into the data and see what, what exactly is going on and, and root cause the issue. The average prediction dropped from 0.8 to 0.6. So you may want to go and de dig down deep into the data, see which were the important the features which caused this, whether whether this appears to be whether those values make sense or there is some suspected data pipeline or data integrity issue and how do the other other features look like for example let's say the the credit lending's model score dropped and you see that okay the reason is because the income of the people who applied has dropped like sudden, suddenly and significantly and then you may want to look at some other other variables and see if if that matches so for example for pe people of a certain income you would have like a certain condition problem distribution for the other features as well and you should be able to drill down and see if those, those are also being matched or if they're not, then it, it may, there may be some something suspicious going on. There may be an attempt to, to, to game the system or some, some data pipeline issues. So, so that is, that's it. And, uh, this is my attempt at giving you a sneak peek into what an explainable ML monitoring system is and looks like. And, and I hope it was uh, informative.